Hello. Hey, Dad. How's that white Christmas looking? You pr promised, remember? <laughs> Meredith! Uh, of course, it's coming down as we speak. Wait till you see it. Great. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Uh, my plane lands Tuesday at 5.30. Perfect. Uh, how will you get here? Will someone pick you up? Obviously. I've got the best chauffeur around. His name starts with a T and ends with Amos Weiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. I hear he's the best in the business. I'll make sure he's there. 5.30 sharp. Oh, thanks, Dad. See you soon. Two more nights, Em. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Same here. Say hi to Mom for me. Bye, Dad. Bye, Em. Have a safe trip. Good morning, Thomas. I bet you woke up feeling like a million dollars after winning that monster pot last night. Morning, Frank. It felt like $96.40, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I had a great night's sleep. Ha! <laughs> I bet. It looks like you've hit the jackpot again today. There's hardly any Christmas mail rush because of the snow. Ah, oh, that's a pity. I really don't mind being outside in the snow. Well, I do. Snow's for looking at, not for walking through. Take it easy out there today. Providence Oaks, good morning! I guess I wasn't the only one that noticed all that white stuff lying around. I now have enough P.O. positive pet thieves about snow to last me a lifetime. But don't let that stop you from calling in new ones. My answer machine can handle it. Theo Positive for Pet Peeves. Hey, Beth. How are you on this fine day? Thomas, hi. Well, business as usual. Nah, I'm just joking. The situation is not that dire. <laughs> <laughs> really? So no Mildred rummaging for discounts today? Well, I'll tell you. She was actually in here just now. I sold her a beautiful 1986 calendar that had kittens wearing mittens on the front. <laughs> I kid you not. I wasn't even aware that was part of my inventory. Besides Mildred, there's been an odd customer or two today, and would you believe, one of them was even looking for a full set of encyclopedias. Oh, never knew you had a clone walking around out there. <laughs> well, that certainly would be something, wouldn't it? There wouldn't be enough books to discuss or wine to consume. By the way, did you know that the world's largest encyclopedia was created in 15th century China and comprised about 11,000 books? Isn't that fascinating? Imagine having to load that into your car. I'm starting to relate. I'm still holding this delivery. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Well, come here then. Put it on the counter. How's Emily coming along with Christmas dinner, by the way? I can imagine she's pretty excited about Meredith coming over. So let me know if she needs any more cookbooks. I've got this beauty from Good Housekeeping that's all the rage right now. I'll be sure to ask her. But you know how Emily gets in the kitchen. <laughs> There'll be so much food, we'll be eating stuffing all week. I suppose you're right. But don't you worry, I'll leave the cookbook. I have a feeling St. Nicholas has other things in store for you this year. <laughs> Looking forward to it already. As well you should. Well, that's me for now, I think. Of course, of course. These are busy days for you, I can imagine. Right. I better get back to it and get ready for the New Year's sale. I've been in a perpetual fight with my pricing gun lately, so I need all the time I can get. And good things come to those who wait. I'll bring over your presents later in the week. 
I hope you have a Merry Christmas Eve tomorrow and give my love to Emily and Meredith. Will do. And season's greetings to you two. Christmas gift? Here's hoping. Hello, Angie. Long time no see. Uh, one package for you today. Thanks, Thomas. How's Emily? Well, other than absolutely hating the snow, she's doing just fine. Oh, believe me, I can relate. I simply wasn't built for snow. Guess I'll always be a California girl at heart. <laughs> well, M's from the Midwest, but same deal. So, what do we have here? Oh, right. Uh, sounds like you got a hefty tax bill. <laughs> Only, it's usually come in envelopes. It's just some things from L.A. <sighs> Toiletries, stuff like that. I, um, recently ended my relationship. Ah, I see. I'm sorry it's not a hefty tax bill instead. It's fine. It was my decision, and it was the right decision. The long distance thing just wasn't working out. Still, seeing your spare toothbrush, that shampoo bottle, a stick of deodorant, it just makes it so definite, you know? Like, the LA chapter of my life is now finally completely closed. Well, I'll leave you alone with your thoughts and your spare toothbrush. Merry Christmas, Angie. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Thomas. My toothbrush and I bid you adieu.
Missy used to live. I remember once, I would came home from school after learning about walnuts. And she asked us if they were named after the street. <laughs> Fancy handwriting on this one. Hi, Ben. Got a pretty hefty package here for you. Ah, uh, thanks, Thomas. I've been waiting for that one. Hi, Mr. W. Please, please, please tell me the mail truck needs a tune-up. <laughs> hey, Lori. Uh, nope. I'm sorry to say the truck's running like a song. Uh, we're actually, I'm very happy about that. But it's bad news for you. As you can see... Lori's taken a head start on working at the garage, part-time, and only when she's finished her homework. Ah, are you sure there's nothing I can improve on the old, um, what do you call this thing again? I just call it the mail truck, actually. Uh, boring. We need to come up with a better name than that. Tell you what, Lori. Maybe you can check out the car horn. It... Sounded a little off last time I checked. The horn, eh? I'm on it! That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Mr. W. Diaphragm had gotten a little dusty, but it's all better now. The mail truck is honking like a big old goose again. Thanks, Lori. Come to think of it, I will be calling your truck the goose from here on out. Big, white, wobbly, and with a honking great horn. Honk, honk! The goose has a nice ring to it. Or a nice honk, anyway. Well, gotta be getting back to my rounds. Happy holidays, you guys. Thanks, Thomas. You too.
Okay, let's get this to its destination. Hi there, Mr. Mailman. Got anything for me today? Hello, ma'am. Just one parcel. Thank you, sir. It's true what they say about mail carriers and snow. You bet. Nothing can keep me from the swift completion of my appointed round. Uh, that too, of course. But I meant that the snow makes them look even more handsome in their uniform. Oh, thank you kindly. But if I get any more compliments, I... Uh, I might not want to leave. Oh, I better get this, honey. I'll see you tonight. Oregon Trail Motel, how may I help you? Ha! <laughs> ah, never gets old. 